Hey guys, today I got a completely unimportant question to answer, which obviously means it's very important. And the question is, can a 3D printed plastic carabiner hold my entire body weight of 80 kg like this height adjustable table can lift it with ease? This silly video idea is supported by FlexiSport, but more of them later. So let's find out if this thing is strong enough to save me or, or if I'm fast. <laughs> or if I'm just one awkward snap away from a fast meeting with the floor. Get up on your feet, this is a shakedown. So let's apply four simple rules to this experiment. The first one is the carabiner has to be made out of 100% 3D printing filament. The second one, it must be a proper carabiner with a quick release so I can attach my keys to it. And the third one, it must be printed on an affordable standard desktop 3D printer. And the last one, the carabiner has to support a minimum weight of 80 kg like my body weight. Hey, but I'm not that kind of an idiot. I attached a rope to my balcony and I will attach the carabiner to the rope. But at first, a little rope check if it can support my body weight. Yeah, seems good. So let's attach the carabiner and I will use of course the dumbbells for the weight and the load. Yeah, it's a bit noisy outside because I'm living at a racetrack, but nevertheless, let's start with this carabiner. It is standard PLA filament. It has 100% infill and I printed two outer perimeters. That means two walls. And I guess it can handle a load of let's say five kilogram. And leave me a comment what you think this carabiner can handle and no cheating. At first you leave the comment and then I will add the weight. Let's start. And I'm starting with uh, standard 2.5 kilogram. Shouldn't be that of a problem, but let's find out. Yeah, 2.5 kilogram, it can handle it with ease. So, the next 2.5 kilogram, which is 5 kilogram in total, and that's what I guessed. But yeah, I guess I'm wrong and it can handle much more than only five kilogram. Ooh, seems promising. Let's add some more weight and let's try another 2.5 kilogram. Yeah, Martin from off here and as you can see I made a mistake. The quick release is still open, but I will notice this mistake in a minute. Ooh, the quick release is open, can you see it? 7.5 kilogram and the quick release is open. And I'm not able to close it because there's already a stretch in the carabiner and there's no chance to close the quick release. Let's try it. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah folks, let's play this video fast forward. My guessing about the weight was totally wrong and I had to add weight after weight. You will see where I am in a few seconds. Again, one, two, three, forty kilogram. And it can handle it. But it can barely handle it. Maybe you can see it. I guess it will break soon because there's a huge bend in the quick release you can see here. And I guess that's the weak point where it will break at first. So 40 kilogram, half of my body weight. Let's try another five kilogram. So let's try again, 45 kilogram. And I guess that's too much. No, it's not. It's not. It is.
Let's check what went wrong and the carabiner broke at the weakest point as expected and the weakest point is a little hook which connected to the quick release. The hook snapped and then there was too much tension on the opposite side which snapped as well. And what's the solution? Reinforcing all these weak points like the hook, like the quick release. Using another stronger filament, I like to go with an ABS Plus filament from GTash Silt Solution blowing up the carabiner, which isn't really a solution because I like to put it in my pockets and I like to hook my keys to it. You can watch the nonsense I do totally for free thanks to the fact that I have some supporters. So let's give a quick thank you and shout out to today's supporter, FlexiSpot. Working in an office can literally be a pain in the ass. My old table was a wobbling nightmare. Every time I typed, it shook like jelly. But switching to the FlexiSpot E7 Pro changed everything. I assembled it in just 10 minutes and it's been a total game changer. My studio space is small, so having the E7 Pro on Custos is perfect. I can move it around easily and it still feels rock solid. This desk is super stable and heavy duty, supporting up to 160 kg without breaking a sweat. And it even lifts my full body weight with ease. You get four programmable hard settings, collision prevention, a child lock and a smart cable management built underneath the tabletop to keep everything clean and neat. Yeah, let's print another carabiner and to print the carabiner we need a 3D printer. So Flashforge sent me a care package and guess what's in the package? The Flashforge Adventure of 5M Pro. Yeah, and that's exactly the machine I need for the project because it comes with all the good specs. It's super fast, 600 mm per second print speed, one click auto bed leveling, input shaping. But now let me tell you what's the catch with this printer. It's so crazy, I can't imagine because this printer claims a three second nozzle swap. Yes, you're right, you can swap the nozzle in three seconds and it comes with an extra nozzle, a 0.6 in the spare parts box, 0.4 is included. And now let's try to do it in three seconds. All you have to do is you have to pull two red buttons on the left and right side of the print head and then you have to pull the nozzle. Let's try, let's pull the buttons and here's the nozzle. So let's push it back in and we are done. Yeah, the three second nozzle swap is so insane. I've never seen that before and I just can't get my head around it. And talking about an affordable price, just check the link underneath the video in the video description and you will be surprised as well that this printer doesn't cost as much as you think. And now let's print the carabiner. Yeah, let's go ahead with the load test of the second carabiner. I already installed four to five kilogram and I changed also the print settings. I did three outer walls. I changed the infill from crosshatch to concentric and I'm going with ABS plus. So let's add some load. And this time I have to be careful and I have to have an eye on my feet because when this one snaps, my feet are in danger and they will be smashed. So I have to be a bit careful when adding the load. Martin from the off here, the quick release snapped at 60 kg, but I'm going ahead with loading more weight. Yeah, 70 kg, how crazy is that? Only 10 kg left, so let's hurry up and let's add some more weight. And the last two and a half kilogram and yeah it seems super promising then this carabiner can handle my full body weight the full 80 kilogram are attached so let's find out if it can handle it full 80 kilogram how crazy is that check this out yes the quick release is snapped but it seems that this is absolutely no issue for the weight load and now there's only one last thing to do. But there's one last thing to do and that's the ultimate test. So I hooked another rope to the carabiner which is now here. I made a little loop so I can put my feet in the rope. And now let's find out if it's true that the carabiner supports my full body weight. Yeah, it does. 
Check this out. How cool is this? Yeah, mission completed, folks. I printed the carabiner made of 100% plastic, which can handle my body weight and which can handle also my keys, which fits into my pocket. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. See you in the next video. Goodbye.